So uh, future and emerging technologies uh, reads that this is a funding program for technology. And uh, the technological progress uh, being infiltrated by research, by pure science, is uh, unpredictable in the timeline. We do not know whether from the point of science to the real operational innovation in terms of technology takes uh, a year or 10 years or 100 years, or maybe will never uh, become a practical technology. But all the projects that we have, they have a running length of, all, of about three to four years. And uh, I think it is uh, wise to ask uh, the proposers of a proposal, uh, someone who uh, places a uh, research funding uh, proposal, uh, to think about what this technology that he is proposing uh, would be worth, uh, who would be taking benefit of it, uh, how would it map into a real life uh, scenario. It doesn't mean that it actually has to be brought to that real life uh, grounding, uh, but just think about it. Think about it before you start uh, what that technology will have as an impact uh, both society-wise, industry-wise, uh, uh, commercially. Uh, and then when a project, by chance, is also very successful towards uh, bringing that scientific results to the grounds of an industrial application, such a project should in some way be rewarded by getting an offer to continue uh, on the more translational research aspect of the scientific results down to an industrial innovation by a continuing grant, a small one maybe, but something that uh, just translates down the scientific results uh, to something that uh, industry can pick up and bring it uh, to a real uh, success also commercially. That is uh, what we are missing, uh, but I think this is something that can easily be implemented as a post-project uh, uh, instrument uh, that is also funded, uh, because uh, this is what, in the end, uh, what we as Europeans want, that namely research results find uh, their way to make uh, a better Europe.